Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, Retro Pi 3.7, and I had a request to test a few more Dreamcast games, so I figured I'd just make a video. We got a few games to test here. We are going to be testing um, MDK2, Bomberman Online, uh, Mrs. Pac-Man, Fur Fighters, San Francisco Rush uh, 2049, and one more game. I forgot what it was, but we're going to get into it. First up, let's test some MDK2. Now I'm set on 720p for the Dreamcast emulator. I have a 1350 megahertz overclock on the Raspberry Pi 3, and the GPU is set at 450 megahertz. And everything's looking smooth. Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Use X, Y, B, and A to move around. Try pressing two buttons at the same time for diagonal movement. Use the analog stick to both look up and down and turn from side to side. Once you're comfortable moving about, stand by the arrow in the center of the room and face the exit. Okay, so these controls are really going to mess me up here. Use the right trigger to fire your chain gun and aim with the analog stick. Destroy those targets in front of the exit. I've placed a grenade somewhere close by. Walk over to it and add it to your inventory. Right, now to throw it. Press up on the D-pad. Smashing! Now let's learn to jump and use your parachute. Look for the lowest floating platform in this room. Run toward it and jump on it by pressing the left trigger. Jump to the platform closest to you. Oh god, this is so hard with the controls. I'm using the uh Now try a pair jump to the next platform. Press and hold both the left trigger and the Y button to glide to your target. Try jumping onto that nearest platform, Kurt. You'll notice you can't land feet first on that one, but you can jump high enough to grab onto the ledge and pull yourself up. Right! Enough jumping around, lad! I've turned on a fan in the middle of the room. Stand on it and open your parachute. Shoot open in the updraft, you'll be able to reach the large platform above you. Now let's teach you how to use your sniper scope. First, get the sniper grenade by bumping into it. Now, stand by the arrow at the edge facing the exit. 
press down on the D-pad to enter sniper mode. Use the analog stick to look around. Press Y and A to zoom in and out. X and B strafe, and right trigger fires. Shoot the two small targets near the door. Okay, so... We have a problem here. Yes, there is a problem with the sniper scope gun thing here. It is impossible to use. So that's a glitch here. Well, that sucks because everything was running really well before. Until we get to this and it really messes us up. Yeah, there's no way. Oh well. Bomberman online. Bomberman online does not work. We're having trouble starting the game. We're going to try the Mrs. Pac-Man. Okay, so yeah, this game is running pretty well. Yeah, cool. Fur fighters?
another one of those games that uses your action button to run, which is odd for me nowadays. Oh, I thought I was dead. Oh gosh, I'm just, I cannot control this game. These settings are killing me. Guess if I played it long enough, I could probably get used to controlling it like this. I don't know if I can kill that thing. Juice, man. So, other than the crazy control. Will not launch, and that game was. Let me see here. I totally forgot what it was called. House of the Dead. <laughs> Obviously. Hot D. <laughs> House of the Dead will not launch. And last up, we have San Francisco Rush 2049. Ooh, yeah. Turbo 350. Want a light frame. Large wings. We'll go with number four, green. Oh, yeah. Some sweet wheels. There we go. The screen is cut off a bit up at the top. But the game runs pretty good. Oh, jeez. We'll hit this jump one more time. Big one coming up.
so yeah, San Francisco Rush 2049 runs pretty well. The screen, top of the screen's cut off. But as time goes on, a lot of these games will work a lot better. was a few more games tested on the Dreamcast. As you could see, we weren't able to start Bomberman Online or House of the Dead. But most of the other games worked good. MDK2 has a problem with the sniper scope. If anybody knows a fix, let me know in the comments below. Um, but that's pretty much it. There are a lot of games that do work great with the Dreamcast emulator running in RetroPie, and there are some games that are just either unplayable or they have so many glitches. But like I said, as time goes on, the developers will fix all these little problems and we will get a fully functional, full speed Dreamcast emulator uh, working within RetroPie. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you got any um, questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any requests on games running on any of the emulators, just let me know. And like always, guys, thanks for watching.